A group, Protection of People's Mandate, has condemned in strong terms what it described as illegal, unconstitutional and undemocratic order of the National Assembly directing the stoppage of the federal government program on the recruitment of 773,000 Nigerians across all the local government councils. The group accuses National Assembly that the opposition is informed by its inability to influence the recruitment process for personal gain, but which was stoutly resisted by the Minister of State for Labour. The group urged members of the National Assembly to seek information from the Constitution on the duties and responsibilities of the third arms of government in democratic setting. Joining us to talk more on this is the Executive Chairman of Protection of People's Mandate, Nelson Ekujumi. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, don't you think a political solution is what is needed rather than this strong-worded press release from your group? Absolutely not. The, we operate a constitutional democracy, and the Constitution has explicitly stated clearly the duties and responsibilities of the three arms of government. So to be an abuse of the Constitution in itself, we need to fight some rather than a constitutional uh, respect by all the three arms of government with regards to their functions. In this case, we have seen the National Assembly try to stray into an area exclusively start for the executive. That is why we are calling on the executive to ignore this reckless uh, notice from the National Assembly. As well as calling on the National Assembly to immediately that and not reserve a point to the transport uh, and use of Pass, as well as uh, as well as that as well. all right um in your statement you asked that the lawmakers should seek education on the constitutional provision uh about checks and balances why did you make this reference yes why i made that reference is that you expect that legislators as people who are uh, in charge of lawmaking uh, to be addressed with their responses, they should be abreast with their limits. But for them to be giving directive to the executive on on executive functions, I think it's an abuse of legislative power. Because I've not seen anywhere in this present democratic dispensation where even the executive has in any way tried to tamper with the uh, uh, part of the uh, lawmaking of legislators. So it is an abuse of power by the legislators to interfere or to try to uh, undermine executive functions. That is why we are calling on them to go and seek education and information on what the clearly states. It's written in black and white. It's written in I'm not sure the Nigerian constitution is written in Arabic. So I wonder why the legislators are overreaching them. All right, um, we, we see you are on the road, so I'll just uh, chip in one more question. What has the fight left to the people who are protective primary, if not only beneficiaries in this project? Yes, what, is, what, is, what the people are going to suffer is that some persons in positions of authority need to corner what belongs to us. There should be a level playing field. And that is what the Minister of State for Labor, uh, for Labour, Mr. Fessor, what's that advocating for? How can the legislators be demanding 10 to 15 percent to do what? Every Nigerian, you claim to be representative of Nigeria. So all the expect to, to be interested in a program in which every Nigerian will benefit, irrespective of where it comes from. And what's so good, this program is 1,000 percent by local government. So the constituency will be adequately represented. Why do you want to have some fortune? Of this uh, for, for poor applicants is what, uh, what uh, is what what is my bug in front of us, and that is why I just come to tell the legislators clearly that this is, is the only benefit we are getting time of economic you know measure occasioned by COVID nineteen. Not only what COVID nineteen has got to the economy or global. 